Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I'm starting my vlog. Today, it's been a rough week. It is Friday morning, well, Friday afternoon. I'm at the post office. Uh, uh, I just want to start this vlog with saying that I'm I'm just heart sick. I'm heart sick right now with everything that's going on in our country and I really just pray for peace this year and I hope that we can we can come together and love one another because I just can't take much more of this discord and this hate and anger and it just breaks my heart. And I you know I just want to put that out there. All right, well I'm at the post office and I got some packages and I wanted to share some friend mail with you. And this one is from Christy. Um, she sent me the gnomes. I'm so excited because I was giving all of mine away. And now I have two that I get to keep. Yay! I'm so excited. Thank you. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And I hope you have a wonderful new year as well. Put that away. And then I received this a little bit ago and I forgot to mention it. And I wanted to share it now. The company is the Dancing Goat Coffee Shop, and her name is Anne. And I think she said it's on Shopify. And she sent me a notepad with coffee cups on it because, duh, coffee, guys. And I will put links below. I'm so excited to use that. I've been holding on to it tightly. And again, Gloria sent me a beautiful card in these socks and I was giving all of the other ones away so now I'll have a pair for me I'm excited to wear them and I just got a new pair of Converse in the mail apparently I wear wide with Converse who knew but I ordered them because I needed them maybe I didn't need them but I wanted them no so I'm super excited so thank you Gloria I got an adorable card Oh, look at that kitty. And this is from Christy. The kitties and Candy in Louisiana. So Candy, Christy, and the kitties, thank you so much. Look at that baby. Oh, I've got to figure out something to do with all these cards. And then I received a beautiful card and some perfectly polished nails. I love nail strips because I think I have oily nail bed, they call it. So regular polish always chips and peels off, but this doesn't. So she sent me these two packs. I will put her link below as well if anybody else is interested in ordering some. She said they're $8 a set, but they're always running specials and it's called Perfectly Polished. Look at those gold ones, so pretty. So I'm gonna try these out and I have her links, so I will put that below. So that is everything I received in the mail today. Thank you all so much for your kind gifts. Um, I'm gonna start driving because I gotta get back home. I'm on my lunch break. Um, I will say I'm super excited. Yesterday, <laughs> fun fact, Thursday's my, well, Friday morning is my trash day. Everybody needed to know that, right? But there's a point. So on Thursdays, ooh, a little shaky here. On Thursdays, I like to do things like I change the kitty litter on Thursdays, and I like to clean out my refrigerator and things like that. So I think that's normal stuff, right? Speaking of, I'm waiting for the refrigerator repairman. Goodness sakes, it's I'm having fridge issues. But anyway, yesterday I decided I'm cleaning my office slash craft room so it's a dual space i'll take you on a little tour after work tonight i think i can go let's just go um so it's a dual space i have my desk in there and i've i videoed in there before and i have a craft area in there now it's not perfect because i have a bunch of crafting supplies that i really need to decide what i'm going to do with or figure out a better place to store it and I have a feeling what's gonna happen is come spring I really need to get in my garage but it's just too cold right now but I need to get in my garage clean that up and and maybe um, clean up a shelf that I could store the wooden crafty items so maybe I don't have to keep them upstairs but for now that is where they're at so the room's not perfect anyway 
Um, I got my office and craft room back from Christmas. It was a disaster. I even found some Christmas gifts I forgot to give Sarah. Trust me, it's not a big deal. Sarah's my niece. I get a lot of questions about that. Um, she's going to be 30 this next month. Ooh. Anyway, she's my niece, and I had picked up a few things for her. A couple of them at the Dollar Tree when those eco tools were out. I grabbed her a bunch of those for makeup removal and stuff. Not a big deal. She had a great Christmas, but I found them. And then the, I had picked up for her at um, Target in the fall some lunch containers because she's a teacher and still goes into the office to teach she goes to the school so she needed lunch containers so I had picked her up one but I forgot to give it to her so it's fine she'll be coming this weekend I'm sure or I'll drop them off to her this weekend but anywho my office is clean there's a point to all this babbling so this weekend I can get back into my craft room and create and what I do and I'll show you when I tour around for you I've got a couple sewing projects to do but I have all these containers from the Dollar Tree mostly what they are are the ones that you would like put papers in I have a bunch of a lot of those and I put specific project ideas in each one and then as I'm going around the house and I'm or my craft room or shopping and I collect the items that are for that specific craft I put them in there and store it so when it's time to actually create when I have everything I need I just have to pull or pick up that one basket and everything is is in there and I like that a lot so I have of those laid out some upcoming projects that I have um, yeah, and I may go back upstairs to doing my Dollar Tree hauls again. It's just easier to be up there. And I mean, my living room is decorated, but it's not Christmas. However, you know, there might still be some hauls in front of the fireplace. I do need to get some more wood. Well, I have wood. I use Duraflame logs to start my fires, and then I use wood to keep them going because I'm just apparently lazy and it's just easier. And I'm out of Duraflame logs. And I have next week the chimney sweep. My chimney guy is coming next week. As well as I have a doctor's appointment, which is telehealth. And I have the refrigerator repairman coming next week. So I had a busy week. Good thing I work from home, huh? All right. Speaking of home, I'm here. So now I got to go upstairs and get back to work. Good morning. It's Sunday. Mm. coffee there's nothing like the first cup in the morning I mean there's 10 cups later in the day probably but that one's the best I am in the west side of Columbus one of you lovelies thank you gave me a heads up that there was a brand new Dollar Tree open on this side of town I don't get over here often just because I don't live on this side I don't work on this side so I had no idea but it is amazing um product similar and I'm assuming it's a regional thing like when one store gets I mean I know they all carry a little something different but I didn't see anything that I couldn't find at the six stores on my side of town but but so clean so organized they're still stocking oh it was amazing to walk through and it smelled fresh and clean the lights were all on it was great I love it I found some things um, I have kind of purchased all the seasonal things, I guess, that I'm going to find. Maybe. I mean, there might be some surprises, but I feel like I got the bulk of what I have seen so far. Um, but like the gnome stuff is going to be gone. There's no way I'm going to find it. I know there's a gnome Valentine towel I didn't find. I did find the gnomies and I was get lovely subscriber. Thank you for gifting me the gnomies. So I'm going to actually add a couple to my giveaway that I am going to be announcing to no Wednesday. Today's this is a Monday video. Tuesday is a Dollar Tree haul. Then Wednesday I will announce the winner of the gnomes, and it's gonna come out later in the day. So I've been looking into my analytics on my channel because this year one of my goals for YouTube is to grow my channel. We're sitting at about 15,500 subscribers. I would love to hit 30,000 by the end of the year. It's a lofty goal, but you know, we can do it as long as you help me. 
like, subscribe, share. That's all I can say. That that helps the algorithm. I'll do my part by putting out hopefully good content that you want to watch. And you help me by subscribing and liking the channel. And that pushes it out to the algorithm to tell them, hey, this is a fun channel. Um, anyway, so my goal, that's, a, that's a, a YouTube goal for the year. But the algorithm tells me that I should be not loading my videos at 8 a.m. I should be loading them at 1 p.m. So we're going to try that. Can't hurt, right? Um, so the videos will still go out. They're just going to go out later in the day. And that will start, could have started today. Not sure. I haven't loaded this video. Ooh, I'm talking in the past and the, about the future. Crazy, I know. If I think properly, that should start this week. Okay, I'm going to tell you, if you're a lady, which most of you are, I think, but I know I've got some gentlemen out there, so I'm sorry. It's 29 degrees out, 29 degrees. I had a coat on, I was all warm, I'm driving. I go in the store and I sure do bust out sweating. So I took my coat off, my mask is on. I'm like, poor, you know, like I'm not pouring sweat, but I'm hot. And the lady was like, um, it's probably cold out. I said, um, sure it is, said, but I'm hot. <laughs> and we laughed because she was my age. So there was my TMI for the morning. It's nothing official. I mean, I just was really overheated in the store, which again, it's, there was nobody in there but me and two other people. So I don't know. All right. I'm headed back to my side of town. I've got house to clean. <coughs> I have office to video for you. I'll do that. And I have food to cook, I guess. I don't know. I don't really have a lot of food to cook, nor do I really want to cook a lot of food. We'll figure it out. All right. Well, I need to drive. Bye. I'm home. Went to the Dollar Tree. I think I just showed you that. Here's some of my finds. It'll be in the hall later. Actually, that will probably be a next week's haul. I gotta start collecting. Went to Aldi, and I got a good deal. If you like these Tillamook, they're country smoker, um, that one's fogged up, little sausages. Um, zero carbohydrates, zero sugar. I love these. They also had them in jalapeno. I don't need that. But these were, I normally pay $5. They are $3.99 at Aldi in their like little seasonal section. So I grabbed two. I I love them and they are fantastic if you're keto or low carb or just, you know, need a snack on the road or out and about because I have faith that I'm going to get to leave my house at some point. Um, I grabbed some shrimp and this is peeled and deveined. I think it was $4.99, $5.99. I don't know. But I want to make shrimp tacos, my version. So I also got some salsa. This is for pepper. It's mild with jalapeno peppers, pe pepper queen, chili pepper, chipotle pepper, and guajillo peppers. So it's typical, it's just a pepper. And then I got some sour cream. And this, um, all the, what is this? Their specialty brand stuff. It really isn't that much more, a little more, but not much, but that sounded good. I grabbed white onions because white onions have less carbohydrates. What are you doing, buddy? Have less carbohydrates than a yellow onion or a Valencia or no, what are they, Valdalia? I stay away from red, Vidalia. Anything that says sweet onion has more carbs. So I just do white onions. Um, yeah. And then I grabbed one dozen eggs only. They're 66 cents here. So I'm having a refrigerator issue. Um, so I'm trying not to stock it up too much until the repairman comes because I've had some issues. And then randomly I bought a laminator and some laminating pouches for some of my organization this year. My happy planner. Um, I've heard good things about these. This is letter size, 40 pouches, thermal. And then I grabbed the laminator. This was $18.99. I've been looking at pricing and this is really just right within the right price point, but their refills are much less expensive. And I know I've seen like photo size, this is paper size. 
And you get 40 sheets. Is that what I said? For $4.99. So I thought that was a pretty decent deal. So I grabbed that. New year. Trying to get myself organized. I know, right? So I picked that up. And that was it. Later, I'm going to make maybe today. We'll see. Or later this week. If I do it later in the week, it'll be a next week's vlog. But I want to make some smoked, um, smoked shrimp burrito -y, taco -y thingies, keto, of course. And I have this smoker gun thingy that smokes indoors, and we're going to try it. I've never tried it. I've had it for a couple of years. It was sent to me as a gift from a relative, and I've just never tried it, and I want to try it. So we're going to do that. Um, just for the record, I typically keep these in the fridge. This is where I keep them. They do not need to be refrigerated. And um, it says, after opening, keep bag closed and refrigerated or use within three days. So this, um, these sausages are good out of the refrigerator for three days, which is great. And there's not a lot in here. Uh, 12 sticks, I think, but they're great. I really enjoy them a lot. And I like that there's zero sugar. Um, when I was allowed to travel, you know, these are great. And what I'm hoping for is when I do get to go to Ireland someday, like soon, uh, um, these are things I will bring for airplane food and on the go type food. So I'll put like three or four of these in my suitcase. They don't weigh a lot and I can just grab and go when we're out touring and stuff because I need things that are easy and I don't always know if I can find this type of stuff in another country, which I'm sure they have. I just don't want to take the time also to go hunting. Cheese is easy. I can find cheese anywhere and meat. And I'm good. That's really it for me. I mean, there I will eat other things, but if this is all I had to eat, and it's a seven hour, seven, eight hour flight. I can't remember, but typically what I would do for the flight is pack some meat sticks, some cheese, a hard boiled egg, something of that nature to have on the plane so I don't get like motion sick and nauseous. And then um, the rest, I wouldn't open this package. But I just keep plenty of snacks, nuts, things like that that I could eat at the airport, on the airplane, so that I don't have to make poor choices or hunt down some other food. But I'm not going anywhere. Everything's shut down. I don't even know when I'm supposed to get my vaccine. I need to figure that out. Actually, I have a doctor's appointment on Tuesday. I'm going to ask. I should put a post-it note on my computer. That's what I'll do because I'm old. I'll write a post-it note of things I need to ask her because it's a telehealth call and I will put it on my computer that morning and it'll say, when can I get my vaccine? All right. I got to put all this stuff away and tidy up. Bye. Amazon came today. I got a uh, riser for my laptop. It's actually a monitor riser, I guess, by this brand, Wally. -E. Um, now, I do have an Amazon affiliate link below. This is in my storefront. Doesn't cost you anymore. I think I get a little kickback from it, but these are items I've purchased. It was easy to put together. I just screwed the little legs on. Um, but what I want to do is raise my laptop up so that it's the same height as my other or at least equal to my monitor we'll go upstairs in a minute and i will show you it in action so i grabbed that i also purchased these mailer bags um for giveaways i didn't have any bags i didn't i didn't like any of the or didn't want just padded ones so these are plain um they weren't expensive and i can get bubble wrap if i need to at the dollar tree so i grabbed a pack of those it comes with 25 and then i grabbed some clear label or some white labels i don't know if you can see there just white labels so i'll hand write my address and your address on it so that was my Amazon delivery today. Look at me building and Amazoning. And in a minute, for you, not for me, we're going to go make some shrimp tacos. Are you ready? No judging. <laughs> it's still a mess in here. But this is my office. Hey, I'm holding my laminator. But let's go in. Set this down. So this is the corner of 
I don't even know what. That is all Dollar Tree materials for crafting. That is Easter and Valentine's Day, and that's this little St. Patrick's. Nothing major under there. That'll get put away. That stack is cross-stitching. My printer. This is where the boys like to sleep while I'm working. And then that's just paper and ink. This is my desk. Uh, my slippers. That little box right there is great. I got it at Aldi, but it hides all my, well, plugs. That's a cross or a knitting project. Uh, back there is just some craft storage, a bathroom, and a closet. The closet's a mess. I did organize my Calyx shelf. I bought five of those fabric drawers. I had the ones at the bottom, but I bought five of those. That's mostly yarn, and one of them is um, needle felting. And then I have, let's take a quick tour. That is essential oils. That is notebooks and paper, more notebooks and paper. That's all of my pens I purged. That is some cross-stitching stuff that still needs to be dealt with. That's just some cute yarn. That is all washi tape. These are, uh, that's my girl, Sarah. That is knitting books. More knitting books, scrapbook paper. That's a cross stitch I did. Paint. That's just some crafty stuff. Uh, Dollar Tree mostly. Some excess ribbon. And that needs to be dealt with as well. So I have two cubes left. That is more yarn. I have a lot of yarn, y'all. And that's just some antique knitting needles. Picture of my mama. And then over here is a drawer, a dresser with just craft supplies in it. So I still have purging to do. That's all my Cricut vinyl and uh, iron on. My Cricut machine, my sewing machine, my heater because it gets cold in here sometimes. And that's, oh, and those are my containers I use when I'm getting ready to prep an item to do a craft. I'll grab one of those buckets and I start putting all my materials in it. My Ikea, although I think I got that at Michael's cart and a trash can. And that chair goes to my kitchen table. <laughs> and I was videoing earlier and that's my light set up. I'm so fancy. So that's really it in here. I mean, I can see the floor. I'm going to shampoo. I need to run the vacuum again. The cats love to play in here. But that is, oh, here, I'm sorry, my desk. This is some uh, mail and things I need to deal with. A candle, because I like it. My monitor, that's my work laptop. Here is that riser I just bought. And I love it that my keyboard slides underneath. And that was like $12. Um, my iPad, I typically will listen to the news during the day while I'm working. A little fan if I get hot, my mouse. And my January, it's just a blotting pad. I have a planner. And then this desk's from Ikea. And those are all my drawers. These are the Alex. So those are four more personal items, like my work stuff, home, my business. And then this is work stuff, like my, jo my day job stuff. So that is everything. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog, and I will talk to you all next week. Bye.